In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the request clone method. In order to do so, you first should check out the documentation just because request clone is a little bit more complicated than some of our other methods. You can either go to rooms.xyz slash docs and then search for request clone, or if you have access to this room, you can click on the documentation thing here and you'll be brought to the appropriate part of the documentation. The big thing that we want to focus on is how to add different attributes to a clone that is created. And we will focus on the X, Y, and Z, or the position of the new clone, and then also a callback in order to run additional methods on the clone itself. So if we jump back into our room here, we can click on the item that we want to clone. And in this case, it will be the tall floor plant. We'll go into the code editor. We're going to start from scratch. And the first thing that we want to do is uh, determine how we want the event to be triggered. And in this particular instance, we'll just use an on click. So we'll say function on click. And then we're going to say request clone. No, nope, no arguments just yet. And then we'll say end. And if we hit preview and then click on the tall floor plant, we did in fact get a clone. However, we didn't have any control over uh, where it was placed, what tint might be applied, or some, uh, you know any attributes of the clone. So we need to add some additional information here. And this is where the biggest difference comes into play with request clone in comparison to some other uh, methods that you might have used. We're going to add curly braces here because we're pulling information from a table in Lua. And if we look at the documentation, we can see that the way that we would add in a callback function is to use the uh, callback uh, option in this case. And so we would want to say callback is equal to the name of the function we want to run. And we'll call it plant placement. And this now allows us to create the plant placement function. And we can apply thing methods to the clone. We have to make sure that we pass the clone in as an argument, but now we can say clone, let's do set tint. And then we can say, this should make it green. And then when we preview and click on the plant, we should get a clone that is now tinted green. And so clicking on it runs the plant placement function on the clone. And then we set the tint to the clone to green. And so this allows us to apply thing methods to a clone. Now, if we wanted to put that plant in a different position, all we have to do is add additional arguments inside of our options request. And so let's say that we wanted to change the Y position. We could say Y equals 50. And this when run will not only call plant placement as a callback, but also apply 50 as the Y value for the placement of the plant. So when we click preview and then we click on the plant, we can see that the plant is now 50 units above its original location, which would have been where the previous or the original plant was found. And we can add in X and Z as well to give it a specific placement. We can say X equals, let's say X equals 10. And then Y, we'll take this back down to zero so it's on the floor. And then we'll say Z is equal to negative 10. And so in this instance, whenever we click on the plant, we should see the clone being placed at X 10, Y 0, Z negative 10, and then also being tinted. Let's just change the tint here. Um, this should be blue. And so when we run it, we click on the plant. The plant is then in its appropriate location of X10, Z negative 10, and then the tint of blue has been applied. So we can see that the part that was white is now tinted blue, and the part that was green is now darker because the green has an additional blue tint to it, making it almost black. Now, there are other attributes that you can apply to a clone, but these are the two most common, which would be A, setting up a callback so that you can apply additional methods onto the clone, and then also setting the position of X, Y, and Z so that your clone shows up in the location 
where you want it to appear.